How are we doing guys and welcome back to All Leeds TV, it's your West Ham vs Leeds match preview. Wow, it is getting more and more real now, it is getting more and more real. We know this weekend is going to be pivotal in the whole season. We could even be relegated this weekend, what a delightful way to start a video. But we could well be relegated this weekend if results go against us. Um, and that's the reality we face now, we have to step up now, this is the crunch time of the season. We started okay under Big Sam, I thought we were decent against Man City in the second half. I thought we were good, mostly against Newcastle. Maybe not particularly great on the ball, but I thought we dug in, stuck in the game really well against Newcastle. And they're the qualities we're going to have to show against West Ham. Listen, um, I think one of the big things is, is that you're going somewhere like West Ham away, knowing realistically that you probably do need to win the game. The way things are going, we probably do need to win that game. Um, we certainly need to be looking at four points as a minimum from these last two for me. But again, you just don't know. The way things have gone, we could win both games and still go down. Or we could win neither and somehow still stay up um, you know, by drawing two games. That's that's the way it is at this moment in time. We've got, just got to focus on our job. Um, you know, We can't moan if Forrest and Everton produce results because that's the reality. We shouldn't be in this situation in the first place. You know, Last season it was tight. This season it feels even tighter. Um, obviously, you've got Leicester as well, who are trying to escape as well. They've got a lot of quality players, so the pressure is very much on now. I think it goes without saying, really. This game itself, though, West Ham are coming back off the back of a Conference League semi-final win in Alkmaar, so they will be absolutely buzzing. Um, there seems to be some heavy celebrations, so hopefully a few drinks flowed as well um, after the game. Realistically, it didn't. I know there's a few rumours in that lot, but realistically, let's be honest, West Ham will be right at it. Um, on Sunday and they probably won't play a full team they'll probably rotate a little bit but they've still got good players you know they've still got a lot of good depth um something that Leeds have lacked for pretty much three or four years now um but yes West Ham have got good depth so I've no doubt they will build, put a strong team out either way um so yeah you know the likes of Maxwell Corney will probably start the game but the reality is he might not be a starter for West Ham but he's still a very very good Premier League player it's things like that so I'm not going to get too carried away um, with West Ham's current situation. They'll be bang at it. Um, I believe there's a bit of bad blood as well between West Ham and Big Sam. Um, I'm not sure what the reasons behind that are. Maybe people in the comments can let me know. I think it's something to do with the way Sam Aldice left the club. Um, but all in all, he seems to do a really solid job there. And we need him to do a really solid job for us as well. In terms of team selection, I'd like to see Adam Forshaw start. Um, yes, I can expect there'll be quite a few comments about that. But the, the reality is, the way we play under Big Sam, Adam Forshaw suits it more than most midfielders in this team in terms of that style of football. I thought he was decent against Newcastle, um, OK against Man City, but reality is decent and OK probably gets you in the team at the moment. Until we get some recruitment in um, and done, decent and OK is probably enough to start for Leeds and that's the reason we are where we are. Um, yeah, I'd like to see that happen. Rodrigo would like to see go up top now. I know what we're trying to do in terms of Rodrigo and Bamford. We're trying to get both qualities on the pitch in terms of Bamford's hold-up play, Rodrigo's finishing against Newcastle. It didn't really work particularly well. OK, it worked on the first goal. But in terms of the game, Rodrigo's not really had a chance in the match. And you look at, you just look at the player who can get you a goal and produce something out of nothing. Um, you know, listen, I'm not on the... Going to hammer Patrick Bamford. Whatever's being said about Patrick Bamford now, it's being said, the criticism that's being said is being said. There's nothing else to kind of say on that. Um, you know, hopefully, if Bamford does start, you know, he's bang at it in terms of holding up play. I and mean, we bring the others into the game as well. But for me, Rodrigo would start this game. I'd have Willie Nanto on the on the right or left and Jack Harrison on the right or left and swapping wings constantly. I'd, I'd just go for something a little bit different in terms of, you know, attacking sense. Um, and that's what we've got to do. It's going to be a... It's not going to be a great game of football, this, no matter what the result is. It's two teams that are very direct, love the long ball, love to be um, you know, trying to dominate the aerial duels, especially West Ham. So I'm not expecting a particularly good game of football, especially in the circumstances. Um, and I don't really care. As long as we get the result, that's the main thing, really. Um, but yeah, we've got to watch out for West Ham set pieces. Creswell's delivery, Ben Rama's delivery, really, really dangerous in those situations. Um, lots of good aerial prowess in that West Ham team and that's the main thing really um, we're going to have spells where we might be on the back foot they're going to have spells when they're back on the back foot and we just need our attacking players to really step up it's the basic things really it's the basics that have been the case all season um, and that's it really yeah, West Ham are beatable they are beatable but at the same time it's an extremely difficult place to go to the Olympic Stadium uh, you see Man United fall short there um, 
two weeks ago, you know, it, it is a very, very difficult place to go and get a result, especially when you need a result. You might, we might need to open up a little bit. And I, I hope we do, to be honest, because our draws are probably no good for us now at this point. Yes, four points might be enough, but I don't want to be putting it all on that Tottenham game at the same time. I want us to be a little bit more proactive in the game. I understand us sitting back against Man City and Newcastle, but against West Ham, I think we've just got to go for it. We have to just go for it for me. Um, unless the Everton Forest results go for us and all of a sudden the point looks like a good point, um, that's a difficult thing because obviously Everton and Forest are playing before us. If Everton go and get beat at Wolves, all of a sudden the points puts us ahead of Everton. So all of a sudden it looks a very different complexion on the um, on the whole relegation battle. But yeah, it's it's a difficult one. It's a really difficult one at this moment in time. The reality is we are far from favourites to stay up. We're probably among, you know, reality is... Everton and Forest, it's heavily weighted in their favour now to stay up because they've got the job done. We haven't won the game since the start of April. We have to step up now. No more excuses, no more no more dafts, lapses and concentration. You know, even against Newcastle, we give away two penalties. It's just these daft lapses and concentration, lack of cutting edge. We have to produce something now. If we don't, we're playing championship football. It's as simple as that. That's the reality. We could be playing championship football as soon as next weekend. Well, you know what I mean, we could be relegated as soon as this weekend. So it's massive, this one, guys. Please hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well, and we will see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Try and stay calm as well. Try and stay calm. It's impossible. It is impossible. See you later, guys.